Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Merry Christmas, guys. Today is December 25th, a super exciting day. It is, in fact, Christmas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday, and I hope that that continues through the rest of the year for you guys. Now, today we are doing what I got for Christmas and what I gave people for Christmas, fishing-related items. But first, let's get on with the intro. Let's go. Okay, just a few things before we start. If you guys want to stay up to date on when I'm going to upload and things like that, go go add my Snapchat right here, worldclass underscore CA19. Awesome. Now, I hope that the audio sounds a little bit better today. I'm trying out this new mic and I'm super excited about it. I'm also going to use this mic with my GoPro. Okay, now let's get on with what I got for Christmas. Okay, so first let's start out with things that I received. I just want to put it out there that I'm not sponsored by any of these companies and I can't give a true review yet because I haven't used the items for long enough. So let me know if you want a review on any of these items down in the comments below. The first item is a green and black rod sock or a rod sleeve. I really love using these rod sleeves. It really helps things stay untangled and I also like this color scheme. This rod sleeve fits rods up to seven and a half feet long, which is very, very nice because my rods are all usually above seven foot. If you see this, it actually says solid on the bag, but I got this in my lapel microphone kit. I'm actually using the lapel microphone right now, but I got a two pack and it came with extra extensions. It also came with some smaller things like a splitter and in here I also have headphone jack to lightning port for my phone. I, right now I have the second microphone actually hooked up to my big camera and I'm super excited to see how this audio turns out. I really hope it turns out great. Um, I'm also planning on using these microphones with my GoPro in the future. I just have to get an adapter to use with it. These microphones are great and they're cheap as well, which is the best part. Now to go along with the microphone, I got these little dead cat furs. What these do is they help muffle the wind a little bit. Wind noise can be very harsh in a microphone and all these threads here sort of catch the wind and disperse it instead of focusing it on the microphone. I will really only use these though in super windy conditions, probably a lot on the lake though. Another thing that I can use these lapel microphones for is what I'll do is I'll hook them up to my phone and then I can actually use them with my vlogging camera right here. This is the camera that I'm going to use to vlog in the future. It's a Canon ELF series and what I can do is I can link the audio using my phone and the camera. It should sound better than just using the camera audio. All right, so moving on to the next item, I actually got the Mach 2, the Luz Mach 2, and I am super excited about this combo. This reel has 10 bearings, and it is a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio, which is quite fast, especially for a combo reel. The color scheme is light green and black, just like my rod sock. And this is a seven foot rod. This also has a fast action, which should make it very good for spinner baits. And the light action should also help it cast pretty far. Obviously, because there's snow on the ground right now, I won't be using this rod anytime soon, but hopefully you will see it a lot in the spring and summer bass fishing season. I'm super excited to use this thing. Before I started this YouTube channel, I like to film some of my fishing stuff. And to do that, I use this GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. Now this camera has served me amazing, but I got a little upgrade, all right? So this will now become my second angle. The camera that I will use for my chesty is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now I am so excited to use this thing. Can't wait to try it out during ice fishing season, which is coming very soon. But this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. 
this will probably be the camera that will be on my chest and this will also be the camera that I will use this microphone with. I'm so excited to try this camera out for the very first time. The batteries are actually charging over in my living room right now, but, but once they're done charging, boom, we're trying this thing out right away. Some of the accessories that I got with the GoPro include this 32 gigabyte SanDisk memory card. Of course, it's a mini memory card, but don't worry, all mini memory cards also come with the adapter. Now, being a fishing YouTuber means that your GoPros have to have a lot of charge. So, I did end up getting a extra battery. And something that I got with that extra battery is a double charger. I will put a picture of what it looks like right there. Yeah, so this way I can charge both batteries at the same time nice and easily instead of having to plug in the GoPro each time. Another item that I received you can probably see already. It is this Frable Arctic Fire Tip-Up. Just in case you don't know, tip-ups are actually used to alarm you if you have a fish on. You set these over a hole with line and bait down and this flag primed. Then when the flag goes up, there's a chance that you have a fish. You then proceed to hand line the fish in. That's why tip-ups are so useful for ice fishermen, and I'm so excited to use this this year. So that's just about it for fishing items that I received. Now, onto the things that I gave. I was very happy with some of the gifts that I gave this year. So was my dad. First of them being a nice Rapala fillet knife. This is a seven and a half inch fillet knife. Comes in at around $25 with a real leather casing. This is one of those knives that will last you forever. I really recommend that you get one of these for that fisherman in your life. I'm sure that they would really, really appreciate it. The next item is a jaw jacker. Now these things are absolutely epic. You'll definitely see fishing YouTubers use these. And what it is, is it's a tip up, but it holds your rod instead of you hand lining. When it feels that you have a bite, it sets the hook for you by a spring. Then you can fight the fish using your own rod. It's very helpful because it already sets the hook for you so you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. It's also very nice because you can fight the fish with your own rod instead of with your bare hands. This helps a ton. I am very excited for me and my dad to try this out this winter. Now, this next item should hopefully flame some catch and cooks later this year. This is the Coleman Bottle Top Stove. This thing is awesome. As you can see, it's a stove that's very, very small and very transportable. You fuel it using those little Coleman propane bottles. So, we could take these out on the ice. That's what's going to be awesome about this. We can do some catching cooks on the ice. Hopefully this thing could also double as a hand warmer as well, because I'm sure that will be much needed. Now this was the grand finale of my dad's Christmas presents this year. Now, depth finders are very expensive, so this was very special. We got him the Garmin Striker 4 Portable Kit. This thing should be so fun to use through the ice, and it will help us find the fish that we're going to catch. If you notice, there's a little bit of a theme. This will help us find the fish, the jaw jacker will help us catch the fish, and the fillet knife in the stove will help us cook and eat the fish. We are so excited for this year of ice fishing. It should be a great one. And I'm actually gonna show you the inside of this box because it's pretty cool. There we go. As you can see, we have the actual depth finder up in the top right of your screen. And we have the bag up in the top left of your screen. Below the depth finder is actually the battery. It is a very portable battery, but it is still super heavy. Here is the actual depth finder itself. It's nice, small, and compact, but it still has all the modes that we're gonna need to find and catch the fish. This bag is quite insulated and should work great with the depth finder that we have. It's not too big, so it won't take up too much room in the truck, and it should be very portable 
in the sled. Now this is the battery. It's a 12 volt battery. All right, well that just about sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Also, I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your year, and I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas or very happy holidays, no matter what holiday you celebrate. Have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. To the outro.